Before I begin, I'd like to give all praises to the Most High Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Rakodesh. These Gentiles, these Europeans, who are Esau, Edom, these Asians, these Africans, and these Arabs, these Gentiles, have a great error against the Lord God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and their seed after them, the Israelites. They have made a very gross error. This is part one in a series explaining their sins against the Lord. This is Daniel chapter 7, verse 25. And he, the fourth beast, which is Rome, which is Esau, Esau of Edom, shall speak great words against the Most High, and shall wear out the saints of the Most High, the Israelites, and think to change times and laws, which we're in the season of doing right about now in about a week or so, and they shall be given into his hand until a time and times and dividing of times. You see, these heathen and Gentiles accept one another as nominal, which means in name only, so-called Christians, in the false name of the same religion. And not only that, they accept one another as converts to their false religion of Judaism. They also set in place their heretical teachings of universalism that everyone can accept the Mashiach and claim that they are all saved already, even before Hamashiach returns to judge the heathen and Gentiles along with the unrepentant Israelites and to redeem and save which is provide salvation to the elect of the Israelites who are those repentant Israelites today those following the laws, statutes, and commandments in the faith of Meshach Yahushai. So you have to recall that all of the kingdoms to present day, all of them wicked. And not only that, the kingdoms to present day have grossed more and more wicked, culminating in unparalleled levels of sin today. And this is what the unrepentant Israelites are guilty of and the heathen are guilty of. 2 Timothy chapter 3, chief verse 5 and 7. We're going to read verses 1 to 7. This know also that in the last days perilous or dangerous troublesome times shall come. And we are in those days today. And we have no idea how long it's going to last. Verse 2. For men shall be lovers of their own selves. You know what that is. You know exactly what that is. That's the Lord going to burn them quacks. Covetous, which means lovers of money. Boasters. And these Gentiles are the most boastful people. Proud as you separate yourself from the Creator. How do they do that? They, t they tell the world that the laws are done away with. Blasphemous, which means arrogant. Disobedient to parents. Unthankful. Unholy, meaning you're not set apart. You're not righteous. Not trying to live a righteous life without natural affection, which means unkind, truce breakers, meaning you're unforgiving, false accusers, accusing people of doing things they have not done. And some of that includes a lot of a gossip that's going amongst the celebrity community right now. Incontinent, which means violent. And who's the most violent? The most violent is Esau Edom. That's why he's ruling on earth today. He's also fierce. These people are fierce despises of those that are good. Those that are they're despising those that follow the law, such commandments and the faith of Mashiach was shy and don't ascribe to what they believe and what they do. Verse four, traitors, heady, which means rash, high-minded, meaning conceited, lovers of pleasures more than lovers of the most high, having a form of godliness, pretending to be godly like that stupid poop of the Roman Catholic Church, but denying the power thereof from such turn away. For of this sort are they which creep into houses, 
via social media and television and video and lead captive silly women, which means they hold captive control over weak women that are laden with sins, led away in diverse or various lusts. You see, these women are laid, are laden and bearing a, a lot of sins and led away by their diverse lusts. Verse 7, ever learning and never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. That is the problem. The Most High Yahweh Bashem Yahushai has his prophets out here on the highways and byways and all over the internet telling people the truth and people refuse to hear. They mock and they scoff and they fight against the truth. But as the word says, you can do nothing against the truth but for the truth. There is a wicked and then there's a righteous. There's a holy and an unholy. There's a good and there's an evil. That is what is going on between the world of the opposites. And who's guilty? These people are guilty of influencing our people, the Israelites scattered around the world and scattered into their countries because we were disobedient and they influenced us instead of us influencing them. But that is starting to change as more and more of the Most High's Holy Spirit is resting upon his people scattered around the world to turn from their wicked ways, turn from these, these heathen, these Gentiles, and, and get away from their wicked ways. Stop voting, stop celebrating their hell of days, stop believing in same-sex marriage and transgender and, and bestiality and pedophilia. Stop believing in that. Stop performing that. And turn back to the Lord, you Israelites. You see, they weren't called to return. The Israelites were called, but like the Bible says, Few are chosen. Many are called, but few are chosen. There's a difference. So that means there's going to be people of the Israelites left out to go the way of the heathen, which is death. So I leave you in the most capable hands of the Most High Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh Shai.